every breath you take, it's still a good season. Hey guys, this is my review for the season finale of Stranger Things Season 2, and I'll admit, I liked it. I liked the latter half of this season. This episode was obviously the conclusion of dealing with the shadow monster. Uh, we saw that Will had his own little exorcism moment when they were exenuating the force from him. Uh, mind you, we see this supernatural demon mouth effect. Uh, fly out of him and fly into the sky so clearly that is going to be a, a moment or a issue that will come into season three that's how they're going to tie things in or bring a force back the hawkins military people basically just get the shaft for barb who finally gets the recognition for her death by the way <laughs> we see 11 reunited with the boys i can understand now why they spent so much time that 11's coming back into the end of the season they were avoiding the whole repetition issue that might have happened in accordance with season one. But I still feel that they could have brought her back earlier. But admittedly, the dramatic effect of her disappearing and then Mike's fight with Hopper, that made sense. Steve's the best damn babysitter ever. We see Jonathan and Nancy, they're together now. And I think that Hopper and Joyce are going to get together, uh, Renault Ryder, totally, they set that up. They Also, with all the banter talk they talked about how they were in high school, that's a total setup for an eventual relationship between them, which sucks because Bob is gone. Poor, poor Bob. The idea of the threat of this episode, I actually think that one of the best moments was with Dart, because this little monster that ate a cat and probably ate people, you felt sad when he died next to some three musketeers. I felt that the con the conclusion, just the the whole battle of her just holding up her hand and screaming and closing a door, I don't know, I didn't find that as intense as the season finale of the first one. I was just kind of like, okay, I know they're going to close it. Um, I thought it was funny when Max's brother came in. That was interesting. Uh, but otherwise, a lot of the things that happened in this episode were predictable. Let's be honest about it. A lot of things we knew were going to happen played out exactly how they were going to happen. I knew for a fact that the doc, who the if I just fucking realized is Burke, that piece of shit Burke from freaking Aliens. I couldn't believe I didn't make that connection earlier, but yeah, it's freaking Burke. No wonder I had this seedy feeling of not of distrust with this character. Even at the end when he's in the bar, it's like, I still don't trust you, Burke. I thought it was kind of stupid how he was alive. Like, what did they do? They bite him and then they just walked away? And I really enjoyed, though, the scene at the end with the ball. I thought that was cool. I, I felt so bad for Dustin, like, working on his hair and everything, and he's off the side, he's just, like, all sad, and then Nancy goes and dances with him. However, someone is definitely spiking your punch bowl, Nancy. And I also liked that Eleven and Mike got to dance again. And I thought that was cool. Just, again, a full circle of all these characters and all the relationships that we've been through and the addition of Max. And now we'll see what happens happens going into season three but otherwise i enjoyed the episode despite its cliches i like the end the emotional sort of aw moment ending and overall i feel that the latter half of the season was definitely better than the first half so much so that i feel they're two totally different animals and it's not just because i took a break after watching the fifth episode i will give this episode a five out of seven i feel it's a good idea to how to end it i mind you i they don't really set up season three at all all they show is that the shadow monster is still pissed but what can he do they close the gate are they going to just create another gate again so we'll see how season three happens in my opinion however i really feel that they should take a little bit more time to develop season three so they don't have a rush product like I feel season two was in parts but that's more for another video I'll probably do a season review about that anyways guys I hope you enjoyed this video review I hope you enjoyed the video reviews admittedly the first five were all from my phone that was because I was on the island and I'm happy that I get to do the last ones in my studio here anyways guys again thank you for watching this video uh, if you guys feel like supporting Victor Lucas creator and co-host of electronic playground I'm gonna be leaving links to his stuff for a little while because I really want to give the guy support otherwise if you like this video maybe leave a like and if you want subscribe anyways guys i'll see you guys next time